To get an honest perspective of Villains, the new album by Queens of the Stone Age, I've put together a focus group. I'll be asking their older albums their opinions of the new release. Let's get started. So you're the band's first album, released in 1998. Uh, it must be strange to hear the new album, Villains. They've changed so much since then. Wait, what other albums? Villains, the Queens of Stone Age new album. Hold up, I'm, I'm way too high to be doing this right now. I feel like I'm like, I'm stuck inside the caplet of a robotic uh, like quaalude. Thanks for stopping by. You are, you were released in 2000. Yeah. So here we are, 17 years later somehow, and uh, the band's new album, Villains, is out. Have you heard the album? What, what are your thoughts on Villains? Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. So, Songs for the Deaf, uh, I wonder if you've listened to uh, the band's new album, Villains, and sort of what's your opinion of their evolution? I'm not listening to it. Why? Because Nick's not on it. Thanks for stopping by. Where's Dave? Lullabies to Paralyze. Um, so I want to get your opinion on the band's new album, Villains. I don't know if you've heard it, but they've really evolved a lot since you were released in 2005. Um, I mean, Little Sister was a great song. Yeah, Burn the Witch, too. Yeah, and Burn the Witch was on that album. Yeah, Medication, uh, you know, Long So Goodbye, you know, Tangle Up and Plaid. Yeah, I mean, you had you had a lot of great tunes. I never can't, what, I never had, I have a lot of great tunes. Have. And I'm not gone just because Villains comes out. I wasn't insinuating that you're being replaced by villains. You know, the whole point is that all the albums are different, okay? They're not the same, it moves. That's the point. Thanks for stopping by. All right, I'm really excited that you're here. Era Vulgaris, uh, 2007 release. With the album uh, Villains now out, I'm wondering... I'll tell uh, you about some villains. Uh, they got me working in their offices now. Answering the phones like a chump. Because I, I have good people skills. You know what, I used to be on their freaking album covers, okay? Okay, so your main gripe is that you feel left out because you weren't on the album cover. Hey, if you can't beat them, join them. And if you can't join them, beat them. Like within an inch of their life. Do you feel me? Are you in? What? Let's do this. You wanna? Let's go. You in? In what? Shut up and get in the car! Screw this. You know what? I got crap to do. I gotta go. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for stopping by. But hey, before I go, I guess I should say I'm sorry. For what? Your face! Thanks for coming down. So, like clockwork, I mean, it's kind of, it's hard to believe it's already been four years since you were released in 2013. I know. You're the closest album to Villains, so I'm really curious what your opinion is of uh, sort of how they've evolved since you were released. We were quite a spectacle, weren't we? Quite a spectacle, indeed. Thanks for coming down. After speaking with the albums, I think you're going to have to form your own opinion about villains. Opinions are like assholes. Some are shitty. Some are really amazing. So what's your asshole of villains? Post your opinion pics to hashtag villains. Thank you.